Welcome. This video unleashes the power of Informatica Power Center 9.x, a single, unified enterprise data integration platform. It not only allows companies and government organizations to access, discover, and integrate data in any format, but also deliver that data throughout the enterprise at any speed. The entire process of data integration is achieved with the help of mappings and transformations. Mapping is a set of source and target definitions linked by the transformation objects. Mapping not only represents the data flow between sources and targets, but it also consists of the components like the source definition, transformation, target definition, and links. On the other hand, transformations represent the operations integration service performs on the data, generate, modify, or pass the data. They are classified into active and passive transformations. Active transformations can change the number of rows received, whereas the passive transformations do not change the number of rows received. Some of the commonly used transformations are the source qualifier, expression, filter, sequence generator, sorter, aggregator, joiner, lookup, update strategy, router, and transaction control. Each of these transformations have their own set of defined roles. Out of these, we will be using the source qualifier, the expression, sequence generator, and the router transformation to achieve the following scenario. We have a flat file source containing the employee records which needs to be loaded in employee 1, 2, and 3 in such a way that the first row of data is loaded in employee 1, the second row of data is loaded in employee 2, third in employee 3, fourth in employee 1, fifth in employee 2, and so on. Let us see how, with the help of mappings and transformations, we can meet our requirement. I already have Informatica Power Center Designer open in front of me. Employee underscore detail is the source file whose data needs to be loaded in the three targets, employee 1, 2, and 3. Our first job is to create a new mapping for which, go to the mappings menu on the top and click on create. Name the new mapping as m underscore cyclic underscore loading and click on OK. You may then drag and drop the source and the targets into the mapping designer. Since we now have the source and target definitions, let us link them with the transformation objects which would define the rule for data transformation. For this, go to the transformation menu on the top and click on create. The first transformation we are going to create is a sequence generator that generates the numeric values. Name it as seq underscore cyclic and click on create. Click on done. Right click on the sequence generated transformation and click on edit. Go to the properties menu and edit the start value as 1 and the end value as 3 because we want the data load should be repeated after every 3 record entries. Also select the cycle checkbox so that the integration service cycles through the sequence range. Click on apply and click on ok. Next, create an expression transformation for a row level calculation. Select expression from the drop down and name it as exp underscore cyclic. Click on create and click on done. Position it wisely. Drag and drop all the ports from the source qualifier into the expression transformation. Also, drag and drop the next val port from the sequence generator into the expression transformation. Once done, create a router transformation to test the condition and filter the data once the filtered data is routed to the target. Go to the transformation menu, click on create, select router from the drop down, name it as rtr underscore cyclic, click on create and click on done. Position it. I'll change the view of the screen to a full screen so that you can have a better look at the mapping designer. Drag and drop all the ports from the expression transformation into the router transformation. Once done, now is the time to specify the conditions using the user-defined groups, for which right-click on the router transformation and click on Edit. 
go to the groups tab on the top and click on the add button to add three new groups click on the drop down under group filter condition go to the ports tab and enter the new formula as next value is equal to one click on ok repeat the same for new group 2 and new group 3 wherein the next value is equal to 2 and 3 respectively after which click on apply and click on ok you can then map each new group to their respective targets the first new group will be mapped to target 1 which is employee 1 similarly map new group 2 and 3 to employees 2 and 3 once done Press Ctrl S on the keyboard to save and validate the mapping and you'll get a message down here saying that the mapping is valid. Once the mapping is accomplished, create a workflow to tell the Informatica server how to execute the task. For this, go back to the normal view, click on the Tools menu and select Workflow Manager. To create a new workflow in the Workflows Manager, go to the Workflows menu on the top and click on Create. Name the new workflow as WF underscore Cyclic and click on OK. Once the workflow is created, click on the Sessions button on the top and create a new session mapped to the mapping that you have just created. After which, click on the Links button on the top and drag and drop the mouse pointer between the workflow and the session. You may then select the session, right click on it, go to Edit, go to the Mappings tab on the top, select the first target which is Employees 1 and change the target load type to Normal because there is an index defined on the target table because of which it will not load the target in bulk. Scroll down and select the option for truncate target table so that the integration service would truncate the target table before loading. Repeat the steps for employees 2 and employees 3 as well. Once done, click on apply and click on ok. Press Ctrl S on the keyboard to save and validate the workflow and you'll get a message down here saying that the workflow is valid. Once you have succeeded in creating the workflow, right-click anywhere in the workflow designer and click on Start Workflow. This would launch the workflow monitor and you can see the workflow being executed. As you can see the succeeded status here, it means we were able to execute the workflow successfully. Let us now see if the target has been loaded with the data as per our requirement. I'll go to the SQL Plus and access the employees one table from here employees one as you may see we have the first record the fourth record the seventh record and so on so the data has been loaded after every three record entries in each table if you want, you may go to other target tables and check if the data load has been done as per your requirement in this tutorial, we discussed what is mapping, what is transformation, what are the different types of transformations, and we also did a simple demonstration of simple mapping. Hope this video was helpful to all of you and you were able to gain insights into the tool. Thank you.